Hi guys, it's Promise Sebastian here again. Okay, it's another wonderful Wednesday and trust you are having a wonderful day. Okay guys, we are going to be learning this awesome and lovely text effect here on Pizzo Lab. It's a four layer text effect and it's just simple, trust me. Okay, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button as I drop awesome tutorials like this every Wednesday night. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna start by getting a blank background as usual so we'll head over to uh, white here and we'll see everything is gone so head over to this other background interface and then head over to image resize and then we'll choose the default image size here on Bezo lab so we'll choose that of youtube banner because it's the dimension that is um 16 ratio 9. what next is the color so we'll use the color to here now and then over to gradient this is the color here but for the sake of this tutorial i'll just use a new color here a default color here in pixel lab now so we we'll use the plus button now and then you see all these are gradient arrangement now so we we'll use this third one now which is the one that has a color the dark color around it and the white color at the middle now at the bright color at the middle now tap on it now and with this color to beneath here i'll just tap on it now and it's taking me to the color wheel and economy and just pen look alike to at the top right here we we'll tap on it now we'll have the color code so we we'll delete this now and type the color code of the bright pink now so capital letter for color codes so we have f f and uh, b and you have one one c and you have nine and you have nine and okay and okay and okay so that is it for the color code of this one now so uh, over to this other one we'll tap on it now with the same color to the same pen look i like to and then let's delete this and then type in the color now capital letter for color code okay so we'll have ff and we'll have six two eight five so we'll click OK and OK and OK. So we'll have the background color now. We'll click OK again. And this is it for the background color. What next now is getting the text. So I'll use the plus button text. And then I'm going to drag this now to it becomes big. And, and I'll double tap on it now. And then delete this now. And type in the text which is um lovely. Lovely done. Done. And... Uh, they just keep this at this size now so we'll head over to the alphabet interface now and then we'll swipe up to the font tool here now and then it's taking me to my font so the font i use for that design is a uh, font name can be so funny okay so this one don't bother even though i didn't get it right okay so this is the um text now but what did you notice most times um i usually adjust this on my tutorial but i've not really paid attention to explain it you see some some of this thing is cutting here now this y is cutting and uh, this l is not cutting but this y basically is cutting now so what would you do in a case like this just double tap on it or use the d2 now then space space this this um slider that looks more like um the 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 notices where text are being typed that appears where the text have been typed so you can move over to the extreme move it over to the extreme and space again so you get equal balanced um text without any cut off you get so give space um to the two sides so we'll have the text now next is um add our color to this text now so let's start from the color there the color it um let's use the close button this is the color menu the color it's eight capital letters for color so you have eight and you have two zero zero and you have one four and we'll click ok and ok and um okay so this is the color for the first layer is a four layer text effect now so we'll click the good button now i have the test now next is add some stroke to this text now so i'll tap on the text and head over to the stroke tool i have here so i'm gonna on the stroke tool now 
and then add a stroke of this same color now of the text the same color of the text is the same color of the stroke we're gonna pick so the same color and then we are gonna increase the stroke to 20 so a stroke amount of 20 is perfect so we'll click ok and then we'll bring it to the center a little bit now so we'll head over to the shadow now and then I'm gonna on the shadow so on therefore it's gonna give me a black shadow which is not what I need so we we'll use the plus button now and then use this um, pen look I like to, to type in the color for the shadow okay so pay attention to these colors because they are the colors you're gonna use when designing yours okay the shadow color it's um seven seven C zero zero one three one three okay and this is the shadow color okay and then we'll reduce the opacity of the shadow a little bit i've taught you guys about not using hard shadows okay so this will make the shadows um soft by so doing so we'll click okay and then we'll have the shadow color now so what next is the blur reduce we'll reduce the blur reduce let's increase the opacity of this shadow a little bit so somewhere around 75 so we'll reduce the blur reduce to just eight to just eight and we'll offset x to 7 and then we we'll offset y also to just 5 so and this is it now so we'll have the offset of the, the um lovely first layer this is the four layer text effect so we'll have the first layer now so we'll copy this again now and then this time let's reduce the stroke to 16 first and then remove the shadows and whatever effect on it now so we we'll just off the shadow so all the whole effect on it is gone now so we we'll have a stroke of 16 and no shadow no shadow effect so what we want to do next now it's over to the um color now we we'll use the plus button and then i'm gonna head over to the color code now to type in the color code okay so pay attention to the color code of this one also so you have um f capital letter for color code you have f f and you have um zero zero and you have six three you have six three and you have click ok and ok and ok so that is the color code for this one now so you will click good now and still head over to the stroke to to still add the same color for this now this same color now is the same color we are also going to use for the stroke which is that is the 16 amount stroke is going to be the same color okay so you see what we have now for this text no shadow same color for the text the same color for the stroke like the first layer so we have the second layer now okay what next now is head over to the shadow tool now this time so on the shadow tool and reduce the bl uh, blur reduce to just zero and then we are going to choose this other color now this first color we choose for that now is the color we are going to choose for the shadow but this time around we are going to offset just x and not y so it's giving me the other offset settings for the text we did so we'll just make sure we bring this y to zero make sure it's at zero so it has zero now so what we'll pay attention is to x so offset x to just minus three so offset of minus three now so then we'll place this here now somewhere here and make sure that this other one is coming out so you bring this one and make sure that let me lock this layer and make sure that this side is showing and the bottom is also showing so we we'll make sure that this side is showing for this text and beneath here is also showing so that's the trick now so let me unlock just um, let me lock this one I'll unlock the first one now so let's start moving make sure that beneath it is showing and the left side is also showing so we'll place it so we're here and I think this arrangement is perfect now so I'm going to mark the two of them and start moving so I'll mark the two of them now and then move left 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 and then I'll, I'm gonna bring it down a little down a little okay so this is perfect now so we'll, I'll copy the effects test again copy the effects test and then this time around uh, we are going to have a shadow this time around nothing much on this one now what we change is just the shadow now the shadow color will be let me use the plus two and then the color code now so let me type in the shadow color it's more like a white but not that um pure white it's just white look alike so you have f f capital letter d a e and it 
so we click ok and ok so it's more like um, a little pinkish white so we, you click ok and that is it now so then we'll reduce the amount of um offset of x you know this one now the offset of x is minus three but this time around it's going to be minus two so we increase it a little bit to minus two and then we increase the blur reduce a little bit so it looks as if it's faded a little bit now so this is what we need now and then we are going to place it just close to this one now let me click ok and use the um position tool to position it and make sure it's centered perfectly well so this is okay now so it's left for the next the fourth text so we'll just copy this again so this is the fourth layer as i told you guys is a four layer text effect so this is the fourth layer and this one is the one that is going to have the white so you see this one is the one that is going to have the white now so let's just lock this other one so we don't move them by mistake now so the main the color of this uh this fourth layer now is going to be white so we're about to the color to now change to pure white so we have ff now and then we click ok and let's just remove this stroke for now so we'll place it somewhere here now and then we'll on the stroke back and then the stroke color is gonna be white same white that's what the stroke color is gonna be but then the amount of stroke is not going to be this 16 now so we we'll reduce the amount of strokes to just five so we we'll have amount of stroke to just five and then we'll place it here so it's time for us to do the inner shadow magic it's time for us to do the inner shadow magic so we'll place it here now let me just use the move tool now to just move this to make sure it's lapping well okay so it's time for us to do the inner shadow magic okay okay but before that let's just move this up a little Let's just move the third that is the three text now these and these and these and these so you mark them let's just move move it up a little so we we'll have enough and move left a little so we we'll have enough of the back text now so this is perfect now so it's less for us to add the inner shadow to this text effect to give it um the real look it needs now so we we'll head over to the inner shadow now and then I'm gonna on the inner shadow and then let's play around with the inner shadow the inner shadow color it's six pay attention to color code that's just it when you are designing text effect just follow the color code I can play around with colors and still get this text effect but for you guys to get it perfectly well so nobody designs um something else that was why I'm strict with color code so you follow the color code and you will get it exact Okay, so you have six three zero zero, and then you have um, F. We we'll click OK and OK. Okay. And so we'll reduce reduce opacity to somewhere here. So it just looks um, very opacious. Let's just leave it somewhere here. To make sure it's very opacious. So we we'll click OK now, and then the blur reduce. We are going to increase to five, and then x offset we are going to offset x by 13 minus 13 x offset to minus 13 that is to bring up this shadow here now okay so when you offset this now you feel like it doesn't have enough emboss emboss like this now or to your own text so you can use the plus button and then take this slider back a little so it it brings more of the color so you have much emboss you see i'm having much emboss here now so that is it if you feel like you don't like the emboss you can play around with the slider now okay so let's just leave it here let me move this guy up i think i moved it down too much so let's just move up now and left okay up okay so we we'll have we we'll have the emboss right now so let's just add an emboss um offset god i move this too much so minus 13 and then let's move y to just two okay y to amount of two now okay so we'll click ok now and then we'll add another shadow this one is inner shadow now so we'll add outer shadow to this again now so we'll tap the main outer shadow now not inner shadow and then we'll on it and then we'll use a very dark color that's the the color of this the first text layer we added that's the color we are going to use now so we'll type in the color there which is uh the plus button color code you have six 
and you have three and you have zero 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 f so click ok and that is it okay so this is the color now so this one you don't have to do anything to it it's just the color code there and then you're going to offset it a little you don't need to add much effect just minus one for x a blur reduce of one and minus one for x not not minus two and then y one so you have x minus 1 y 1 and then a blood reduce of 1 okay so and this is it now so what is left uh, is the the doodles i added to the text effect those nice doodles i added to give it more vibe and this is the doodle -doo now so i'll just tap on it now i have it on my uh, uh pixel lab now and i'll click the good button so i'm just gonna resize this use to go over to the shape interface now and then use resize make sure it's 100 100 and Good button and then i'm going to use the relative position but button to make it relative to the center and guys this is it it's awesome right wow this looks nice okay guys thanks for watching this awesome tutorial don't forget to share you're not the only one to watch this awesome video so share with your friends okay and if you've not subscribed to this channel just do me a favor of clicking the subscribe button and the bell button also because you get notified when i drop awesome videos like Please, you don't want to miss it. Okay, guys, I'm um, see you next Wednesday, and don't forget to keep creating.